Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, I want to start with the tropics. You know, now things are starting to perk up again. There's a couple of weak disturbances over there. One in the central Atlantic, one in the eastern Atlantic. They are moving off to the west and uh, northwest. So we'll watch those. Next couple of days, I don't think they're going to be forming, but possibly as we get in the next five to seven days, the one over in the eastern Atlantic, that one could possibly form into something. So nothing locally, though. That's good. We'll actually start drying things out today. We've got a couple of stray showers. They're possible. Overall, cool and dry today and tomorrow. We've got some more rain coming in Saturday, some storms, and then we'll be dry again Sunday, and we'll start heating things up again uh, we're going to Sunday. So the humidity levels, you know, they're going to be up and down. They'll be dropping a little bit today, uh, then down somewhat Friday, but they do go up quite a bit Saturday. You can clearly see that, and then going down again Sunday and Monday. And right now, we got a lot of humidity right here nearby, and that's why we could still see some isolated showers. But these features are offshore now, the low and the stationary front, and that's why our chances have dropped. High pressure's edging a little closer to us, and we got some cool, dry air trying to filter in. But we got enough humidity to create a few showers still. There's some in here falling between Edenton and Elizabeth City and Currituck, so that's going to give us a few showers this morning. They're trying to reach the south side, you know, uh, Back Bay. There's a couple on the south end. Uh, but for the most part, we're not seeing much rain over the south side. Peninsula is rain-free. Middle Peninsula, maybe a sprinkle. And the eastern shore, we have one stray shower that fell apart south of Saxis, and that's about it. Now, we could see a couple of isolated showers this morning. I think mostly over North Carolina, but a couple could reach up into Hampton Roads. But then as we go through the day, partly cloudy skies, the majority of the area is going to be rain-free, but a couple of stray showers are possible. That's up around 3 p.m. 6 p.m., all that goes away. We've got mostly clear skies, light north-northeast winds. It's going to be nice out there for the evening commute. Anybody just uh, want to go for a walk this evening? And then overnight, we got mostly clear skies. No rain out there for sure. Winds out of the north. And then through the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine. I think by the end of the day, a couple of these showers will come up from the south and might move into Hampton Roads. They'll be isolated, though. So today, 81 in Nagshead, 82 Elizabeth City. We got 83 Hertford. Partly cloudy skies, a couple of isolated showers, light north winds. Near 80 in Virginia Beach, low 80s in Norfolk, Portsmouth, Chesapeake. Stray shower early, otherwise partly cloudy skies. And about the same for Hampton, Gloucester, Melfa. A couple of stray showers maybe, but not a good chance. 81 degrees, most of the day is partly cloudy. Beach forecast, we got some problems here. There's a high threat for rip currents, a high threat for rip currents along the Outer Banks. Waves there about 3 to 5 feet. Good for surfers, bad for swimmers. Moderate threat for rip currents for the south side for Virginia Beach. And uh, we've got waves there about 2 to 4 feet. Now, tomorrow we've got uh, some quiet weather, isolated shower perhaps late in the day, 83. And then showers and storms are likely on Saturday, 80 degrees for the high. Sunday, maybe an isolated shower early, and then we'll be dry in the afternoon, 86. And then we got 90s coming in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with partly cloudy skies, drier, hotter weather early next week. That's the latest forecast. Now I'll turn it over to Madison with Travis.